What's up guys? Hope you're all well. So today I have another video for you with um, AMA recording in uh, my Discord channel and at this AMA, or I call it weekly alpha call, I talk with my community and explain uh, some nice projects, also how uh, you can reveal trade, which is pretty cool, and how you can uh, check how, how a mint is going on, does it worth it to mint or not, so different interesting things, and also very cool uh, project, uh, which is basically a trading tool, which you can maybe mint for free, if you win a raffle, so a lot of exciting stuff, and I will keep uh, doing to record uh, this AMA, so weekly alpha calls with me and also um, our um, professional analytic Tyler, which is also analytic for an, an analytic for Satoshi Runners and other really big and cool projects. And I will also uh, in future um, split uh, different topics for this from this AMA and also put it in for YouTube so you don't need also to take a look on the one hour recording video so you can choose what kind of topics, what kind of projects in this AMA um, which uh, I discuss or Tyler discuss you want to take a look at. Right, so very exciting stuff I think and I hope you will uh, like it. If you like my content of course um, feel free to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel or uh, click on the link in the description and join my community, our community, our Discord community. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to, right? <clears throat> and yeah, bear market is, um, is is not a nice thing, but there's still uh, nice projects and still nice opportunities and uh, the real community is still there. And yeah, it's still very exciting. So have fun to watch the same A and yeah, bye. See you then on the other side. Okay, hi guys, and thanks for joining the AMA. So I had uh, took a look to some projects which I get first of all from uh, Tyler. He has shared this in our uh, alpha call, and then another project which I have uh, also from an uh, um, alpha channel. And also very, very interesting because um, it is basically a trading tool and it is for free. So you can literally mint it for free. And then we will also take a look uh, on a project uh, which has really big hype. And right now it is revealed. And then I can really go through you uh, how reveal trading works, right? And then I have also some ideas uh, how uh, we could make future AMAs and um, make different channels for different people and starting together um, to trade NFTs together and not just, you know, not just um, try to find good whitelists or, or find good projects and hopefully then uh, sell them for uh, much uh, more money to make ROI, but really um, trade NFT. So basically really like crypto trading, you, you buy in, you sell in one, two hours and go away with profits, right? So this is the nicest thing because then you, you don't need to hunt for whitelist. You don't need to grind for whitelist. You know, you, you just uh, need to understand the market themselves. You need to understand how trading psychology works using some tools which are not too expensive or even free and just uh, make um, uh, have nice exit points and entry points, right? Uh, but let me start uh, with, with the first project, um, which we can analyze. And by the way, um, one thing, uh, on uh, in the general chat, uh, Champ, I hope Champ will join the AMA. Uh, wait a second. Um, 
anyway, if Chample joins the AMA, he has asked also uh, regarding one project and we can go through this. Uh, but let's see. So let me share my screen. Okay, guys, can you see my screen? Can you confirm? Yes. Okay, great. Um, yeah, um, if you want to have bigger, by the way, go here on options and show. Wow. Ah, just click on the screen and then you, you see it bigger. Okay, so the first, uh, you see also the screen uh, from my um, browser, right? I just need to confirm. Yes. Okay, great. Cool. So the first project is Foxford, and uh, I decided to go through uh, to, to uh, take more clear look on Foxford. Why? Because here uh, Tyler has already called it in our um, on Tyler calls. You can see here in uh, our alpha group. And he tells that it appears that the X here from Crunchyroll Japan is in this project and it could be interesting and i was analyzed this a little bit more and would like to go through this together with you so uh fox Road is uh pretty early on you see um just 450 followers and of course i always like to check how what kind of followers are follow them which i know there's just one guy with 2,000 followers. So still no big guys there, but I'm pretty sure if this project is big and they will keep going with marketing, all of the stuff, it will more followers. And then you can uh, check, okay, uh, what kind of big people follow this project. And if you see a lot of big people, that makes even more sense, right? And what I have, what I like also to, to check in the beginning, you see there are not many followers and it makes sense always to check um, the interactions uh, with their tweets, right? And it is normal. So let's say this interaction, this um, this tweet here, right? It is normal that in the beginning, and this is, uh, this is also what I want to see, that you don't have a lot of comments because uh, if you have this kind of early projects, right? Just a um, small thing. If you have this kind of early projects and you see just 400 followers or 500 followers, this is this is not bad. This is okay. It's, it can be early on. But if you see then, um, if you click on one, um, uh, one post and let's say you see then a lot of different messages, yeah, to the moon, blah, 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 blah. Um, then this is suspicious that this means uh, this, this, the people have starting to buying uh, engagement, right? So there are a lot of different services where you can just pay money and people will bought it your project and starting to, to spam uh, different comments. And this will be suspicious. So it is normal if, if a project is early, early on that you have not many messengers and then uh, it's more organic. And of course you can uh, just uh, take track on it. And if you see it get, go, um, grows uh, with more followers and then you see it's naturally grows also in comments and these comments are not so, you know, not so botted like, like bot comments are, yeah, to the moon, we go to the moon, awesome project, you know, all this stuff. So you want to see really unique comments so you understand okay these are really uh real people uh same thing also for for that for the discord also you if you check the discord um you understand okay they have maybe uh not so many people in right now uh and then you you want to see uh, and i can see uh this looks also like you know an organic yeah, an organic um, conversation on people. This is always very important uh, to check. So, um, so the devs are not cheating. They don't try to, to fake engagement. This is very important because a lot of projects uh, do this and try just to create the hype. And it has worked very well for them 
one year ago, but right now people become smarter. But anyway, I need to tell this. Uh, let's check for then following. Um, what I recognized is um, you have this here, um, animesnetwork.com. This is a very common website, and they have already uh, talked about them. So, Crunchful Japan founder, you know what Tyler talks also. Crunchful Japan founder, Vincent Shorten, teams up with Gottman, moderate design Orca Pro on new Mecha Venture. So, with the Shortman, it's a Crunchful founder, and Crunchful, what is Crunchful? You can see Crunchroll is a very big company and they are specialized. So Crunchroll is an American distributor, publisher, production, let's say company focused on streaming anime, manga, duramo. So we have here a big company, Crunchroll, right? And the founder created this NFT project. That's the first thing. The second thing is um, uh, you have this enemies network come and they uh, talk about this stuff, right? um uh talk about um this project and what i also like to do is i using uh, um, websites like um, um like wayback machine and anime uh, uh similar web uh, with this websites you can basically analyze uh, uh websites right so i i was just google this um uh, and found that this animes network talks about this uh, Foxford project. And then I asked myself, okay, how legit is this animes network.com website, right? And um, what I do is I uh, check this on Wayback Machine, so you can put in the website, and then you see how long this website exists. It literally exists for 20 years. So this is not just a BS uh, website. This is a serious website about anime. So a lot of people from Japan or some things, they take a look on this. And you can assume that a lot, some people of them are interested also in NFTs. So we have already a really uh, nice audience, right? And this is important for an NFT project. And then you have also this kind of stuff, uh, similar web, right? A uh, similar web is also a very cool website. It's for free. So you can put in um, any website and then you have this data. So I have put it also animesnetwork.com just to check how legit it is. And I have here in German, uh, because I have German, German IP, but you will see this in English, of course, uh, how many people already visit this, nine millions. And uh, average guy is two minutes on this website etc etc but you can see even this nine millions you know you see and you see what kind of countries are visiting this website and the common the most country is uh, usa with 40 percent canada so the audience on uh, on this uh, on this animesnetwork.com is from usa the audience which you want to have Right, and you can use this website, similar webcom, also to check uh, uh, websites um, from an NFT project. And we have, we can use this also with this. Um, this is their website from Foxford. We will go through this uh, right now. But I have put in, for example, Foxford.io on this on this website. And of course, because the project is fresh, right? Uh, so far, just 5,000 people were on this website. And this is a very nice thing because um, if you have a project and then you see, okay, there are more followers, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 followers on Twitter, and they have a website, you can always go to this website, uh, similar web, put in the website from the project and see, okay, how many people actually go to their website, right? And this is also a nice indicator. Let's say you have a Twitter account with, with, with a project, right? And there are 30,000 people, 50, 100,000 people, right? And then you see a website from them. And then you go to the website, copy and paste it to, to similar web, and then you see just 
2,000 or 3,000 people joined this website. What does it tell you? It tells you that something is suspicious. It tells you that it cannot be that a, a project has 100,000 people on, on their uh, Twitter account, but on their website are just 2,000 uh, 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 people so far, where around 2,000 people so far. It makes no sense. So you can then assume that they have literally buy uh, by uh, um, followers, right, on Twitter. But right now with Foxhot, because it's pretty early, of course, it has 500, uh, 500 how many people they have, um, uh, for, uh, 500 followers, then it's okay that they have 5,000 uh, engagements. And so you can keep track on it. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, crunch roll, I, go, I have go through this, and also what I like to do is uh, what I want to mention. They tell also uh, that uh, the Foxport project is being personally overseen by Mac Mecca legend and any professional Masanubo Oka. Uh, honestly, I don't know who is Masanubo Oka. I don't see, uh, don't find, find anything about him. But if this kind of legit website says that he's a mecha, mecha legend, right then i just need to believe them because i have checked enemies network it is legit and if you have a legit source and they tell you things uh then you can assume they are probably right uh so in this case uh thanks a lot to tyler our uh our um analytic um for 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 this call, right, mm, guys? They are just right now 670 members. Uh, does it make sense to uh, to try to get on the whitelist? Of course, uh, right. But yeah, there's just one minus point. Also, what I want to go through with you uh, is following. Um, let's check the website first of all. Uh, Foxford. Um, yeah, standard nice website. Um, first of all, no, one thing what I like, of course, um, they will have staking and you can stake a coin. Um, it's, it depends on if it will good or not. It depends on what kind of tokenomics they will have. I don't know what kind of tokenomics. Everyone, it's right now not so difficult to create a staking system and make a coin a shit coin. You know, it's always about what will the coin bring? What kind of tokenomics do there will be a burning mechanism, et cetera, et cetera. For example, the Habibis, they have, you can stake the Habibis and you can own oil, right? But uh, the thing behind oil, you can use oil to buy whitelist spots, right? And as soon as you buy whitelist spots, you burn this oil. So in this case, there's a demand on this oil and that's why this oil has a kind of um, have has also value behind this you can always trade this oil on sushi swap for ethereum or usdc etc right so you you basically can stake real money right this is very important and to get this you need have to real tokenomics uh, but the chances are not bad that they will help Real talk economics. Why? Because there's a team behind them. There's a CEO, which uh, a former CEO from Crunchroll, uh, and Crunchroll is very legit and uh, a legit platform. Uh, enemy platform. Let's talk about them. So uh, they have a fan base, and um, yeah, they they could have a big fan base. And if they minted out ten thousand for, for Fox Sports, it will be of course, um, uh, good money for them and they can use this to create this kind of tokenomics, right? But you you, you, uh, you need to track on them yeah, and understand, okay, do they will have this or not, right? And they will have also sandbox, mini game, blah, 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 all this stuff. A lot of projects claim this kind of exciting stuff, but it's also another, question if they will really be able to do this. That's why it's so important to check the team behind them, um, right? And what they also plan is collectible figure sets, Fox Rod, uh, uh, physical max, right? And you can see basically on their Twitter, they, they 
make already some, you know, designs, physical designs, right? So, and with this kind of stuff, yeah, you can understand, say, in this case, they know what they're doing. Um, so very interesting projects. Just one minus point, um, first of all, of course, 10,000 pieces in this market situation, yeah. It could be difficult to mint it out, right? So you need to track this. If you are on the whitelist, you need to use IC tools and uh, see how is the mint goes on. Are people actually mint, minting this? Uh, do it will sold out, um, right? The first thing and the second thing, also minus point, I need to tell um, <clears throat> uh, how much Foxwood will cost, no. It's a, it's a limit of the mint. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit minus, but uh, minting will be limited to five Fox per wallet. Uh, five is a little bit too much. And I think they make five because they have 10,000, but we will see. But overall, um, yeah, very interesting project, uh, in my opinion. So thanks again on Tyler, uh, awesome job to, uh, to find uh, this project. Uh, and call it. Uh, so far, any questions regarding this? So, any make questions? Yeah. Uh, uh, no problem, champs. Thanks for coming. Um, and also, no, no, no issues. Uh, land. Uh, yeah. And champ, um, you, you, you have asked uh, regarding one project, right? I remember, uh, champ, you there? Yeah, Cubics. Um, wait a second. And uh, the question, what was the question? Tell me, and let's check this. The question was, uh, wait a second, okay. Opinion could have the have the white, but not, not so profitable. Not 0.25 in this market pain. If uh, 0.25, oh, I, I understand. Uh, point to so mint is 0.25. You are on the white list, and you don't know if it's worth it or not. Right? Uh, uh, okay, okay. So look, in general, uh, I, I don't, um, let me show you one thing in general, mm. uh, uh, how you can check it. I was going through this already um, uh, in an, a different AMA. So I don't know this project. Um, of course, you need to check what is the team, what's the message, what's the planning, all this stuff, and put it together and, on the, and uh, make a decision uh, regarding this. Um, is it, uh, do it make sense to, to hold it midterm or long term? But what I can uh, do in this call for you uh, and for you all, you guys, and uh, is following let's assume you want to mint this and you want to flip this for profits and you are in whitelist, right? And your plan is okay. Uh, I want to to uh, maybe to mint it for 0.25 and sell it for profit, let's say for 0.35, like the public price and make 0.1 profit or sell it even higher for profit after a few hours, let's assume. But you're afraid to mint this for 0.25, why? Because the price is high and the problem is, let's say it have 5,000 pieces or 10,000 pieces and just 2,000 people will mint it, yeah, then you're fucked because um, people will start to panic sell uh, because it was not minted out and you will lose uh, this money and uh, secondary market price will be 0.1, maybe 0.08. So how to avoid this? How to avoid to buy in, mint this kind of projects? Uh, love writing some things. Mm. Anyway, I will <clears throat> hold the waiters. Let me uh, show you. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, what you want to do is following. Um, let's say, oh, let let's say the mint is starting. So, I don't know. Um, 
let's say uh, I need I need to project uh, to find a project uh, which is right now minting. Um, connect. I have premium. Yeah, awesome. So uh, discover, for example. It's just an example. Let's say this is your project, right? So we have right now here Azuki Art. So let's uh, let's say this is your project. How, how was the project name? Uh, they made a system where if you mint. Oh, wait a sec, love. They made a system where if you mint, you can sell it until public. You can sell it until public is over. Oh, you basically get the voucher and you will be able to exchange that voucher after plug is over for your NFT. Um, yeah, nice idea from, from these guys, um, by the way. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So uh, it doesn't matter because you need to understand anyway just how many people will mint it in the whitelist and how to check this, OK? This is a very important thing. So, um, <clears throat> so we talk about. Uh, about Cubex, okay. So let's assume here Azuki Art is Cubex, right? For example. Uh, so the first thing what you want to see is a contract number. Normally, if they starting to minting, you go to the Discord, right? And and they have an official link. Very important look in the Discord for the official link or in Twitter for the official link, then you have the official link of their OpenSea, okay? So, for example, uh, then you click on their official link and then you see um, on OpenSea, oh, damn it, I don't have it here. Uh, I just need to find, um, I just uh, need to find, um, an example, uh, a project example, so I can uh, explain you. Mm, okay, let's let's try mutant wolf pack. I hope mutant mutant wolf pack is on. Okay, mutant wolf pack, please be on OPC. Ah, I okay. Okay, so let's assume this is a Cubix, right? So uh, they starting the mint, you are on the whitelist, you don't know mint or not mint, you know, blah, blah. So what you need to, 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 to do is uh, find the official link to their OpenSea. So normally first people will mint it and they will immediately put it on OpenSea, right? Then you go, click just on one NFT, right? Just on one NFT. Um, then you go on details, click here, then you have the contract number, you copy and paste this, then you go to IC tools, copy and paste this, of course, it will seem, show me now mutant Wolfpack, but you will have the Cubex number, and then you will see your Cubex, yes? You will see here Cubix, you will see their contract number, make sure it is a real number, not a scam number. That's why I always check first of, uh, official links, go to OpenSea, copy paste it in IC tools. What you want to do is click on mints, right? And I, 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 I put uh, a project, I put a project, I, 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 I took a project as an example, uh, be, uh, which is minting right now, so I can show you. And um, I don't know, by the way, if it's a free, if you can have this uh, with IC tools as um, uh, with a free version or if you need to pay it. Um, I have the premium at 70 bucks a month, so you need to find out for yourself. But this is a very nice info. Then you click on mints, and then you need to understand, okay, how many pieces they have, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, right? And then you see how many people minting this as a whitelist people right after they starting mint. That's the first thing. On the right thing, you see mints per wallet. So this mints are here, you have one person who minted, here you have two to three persons who minted, here you have four to 10 persons who minted. Sometimes you have some things where the developer minted their own NFT in the beginning. So let's say they have uh, 5,000 pieces and they minted 1,000 pieces immediately 
uh, uh, yeah, so so you so people will see all oh, immediately one thousand mints, but then you will see that all these one thousand pieces are minted from uh, uh, from uh, from one uh, one uh, one wallet. So then you will see so mints per wallet four to ten uh, or example. 50 plus, I don't know. And then you will see here this in this graph. So what you want, want to have is that you will you want to see that mints are going well, that people literally minting this. So wait, you don't uh, don't hesitate to, to mint. Wait, let's say it has 5,000 pieces. Wait, okay, how many time after mint is go through? 20 minutes, 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, how many people minted them? So for example, if after 30 minutes, right, if if if, if Cubex have 5,000 pieces and after 30 minutes, they are just 100 mints, don't mint this shit. If after 20, 30 minutes, uh, you see 3,000 mints, boom. And you see uh, that are all um, uh, just one mint per wallet. Then you understand there are literally already 5,000 people waiting for the mint are exciting and pay 0.25 ETH and after 30 minutes already two, three thousand mints, then you understand that is demand. So it doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, it's it's just trading psychology. This has nothing to do with how well is the project, what's the team behind it. It's all about uh, uh, demand. What, how big is the demand? And if the mint price is big, but if the demand for the mint price is also big, then people will mint, mint this, right? And then it makes sense to mint. Um, yeah, so that's what I can uh, tell you. Use uh, IC tools, find out the uh, contract number after the mint and analyze the minting, right? And if you see people minting this for this price, then you can assume to mint this also. Uh, do I uh, answer your question, uh, champ? Or do you have maybe another question regarding this? Champ? Hello, yeah, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. any questions yeah, regarding yeah. this? Thank no, I'm good, man. Thanks for answering. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, does it uh, do it was helpful? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool, cool. definitely very helpful. Cool, cool. Uh, appreciate, appreciate you. And yeah, that's that's how I uh, always uh, do this kind of things, um, right? And that's how I was avoiding, by the way, uh, to get scammed also. So I was uh, in a, in a white list mint. I forget how the project calls, and I'm very sad <laughs> that I delete the uh, the the Discord because I could share this. And they literally after the mint, they 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 announce on the Discord, yes, it was a rug pull. <laughs> so scream and uh, if you want, we don't care. Uh, but I uh, uh, screen share this by the way, and I was um, uh, avoiding to mint this because they got a, a lot of engagements, a lot of followers, and and it looks like a very legit project, right? And the mint price was 0.15. But what, what I was doing, I literally checked on IC tools how many mints. And uh, they got 10,000 pieces. And after uh, 30 minutes, there was uh, uh, 30 mints, right? 30 mints after 30 minutes. So, so, and then you're starting to understand a lot of people chatting, a lot of people are excited, but at the end of the day, just 30 guys minted it. So then you understand, okay, it's just bought it. It just, um, yeah, it's, something is wrong here. And I was not minting this because I see, I see tools saved my ass. Uh, and, and then a few days later, then <laughs> announced that they are what? Yes. So that's always, always, that's why I check uh, check, check the mint process behind this. Be, be not the first guy who mint it. Let first other people minting for you, right? Uh, if you are on the whitelist and you have time, take your time. Okay, so let me <clears throat> go to uh, another uh, project, uh, which I got uh, from, uh, to be honest, from uh, another alpha group, another alpha column. But this project is also very, very cool. Um, and I tell you why it's so cool. It calls Arcane 
tools, right? Um, Arcane tools is basically um, it's a, it's a trading tool. And the nice thing behind this, it's a free mint. Uh, so basically, um, it is it it copies so good uh, so good like NFT nerds. So we can see it. It looks also here like NFT nerds, right? You have here the the listings. You have here the sales, and all this exciting stuff. Uh, you can track the floor. Um, and the nice thing behind this free. And if we check the followers from Arcade Two. Um, you have already so a lot of guys which I follow, uh, good guys. This is by the way the NFT caller. Thanks for Ox Juan to call this. Um, right, he has called this uh, stuff. Um, and <clears throat> what's really cool is um, you can check um, the dev behind this. This is the developer, uh, blockchain Gavin. Or, or it's the founder, right? And if we uh, go to this founder of this NFT tool, which will be a free mint, what is really cool. Um, you can see this guy has 93,000 followers. Is he even his YouTube? I don't know. Never checked this, let's check. Um, Yeah, he has even his own YouTube Hello with, with 12,000 uh, uh, video, I'm gonna be showing you guys subscriber, how to mint an NFT. which is uh, pretty cool. I just recognize this right now. And he's followed also from Antebellum Games, a very nice project. Um, also, uh, Nathan is uh, 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 very... Um, um, uh, very uh, yeah, successful and uh, developer in this space. Vilius as uh, also YouTuber, uh, influencer, NFT influencer, big time. Every knows big time, right? Right? They follow them. Benta Boy, right? C D Fi, and this is a dope box seat, right? Uh, all these guys follow this guy. And he developed, uh, he founded uh, this arcane tool and make a free mint, which is very smart to be honest. Why? Because a lot you have a lot of people who are making this kind of tools. Uh, you have a lot of competition, and he make okay. I make a free free mint and to, to create a community. And basically, what I think uh, um, then um, because the plan behind this uh, will be to to make a really nice. Uh, making a really nice um, tool which people will use and then the nft will become available and he will live from from uh, the secondary uh, market from the royalties right if it's the same thing like uh, what what uh, llama verse has to also free mint and he make tons of money just from uh, 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 just from royalties and maybe he will uh, on his um, trading uh, to, to, uh, trading tools website people without uh, the nft needs to pay a monthly fee like for nft nerds and we have right now the possibility register for a free mint uh, which is pretty cool i don't done this i will do this after after the call um yeah you can see here arcane tools um you can uh, I, I you can ask me also um, please ask me after the call if you want specific links, uh, uh, let's say for Arcane Tools or something, so I can react on this and post this, okay? Because I cannot post every link here. So just just, just ask me in the uh, AMA questions, please post this link or that link and I will do this. So here, arcane.tools team, uh, arcane.tools. Um, and <clears throat> um, if we analyze this, which is very cool. So they take they, they say the only NFT tool you ever need, period. And if they if if they say this and this guy know what's he he talking about, then he understand okay, it is for smart people who know how to trade. So I assume this tool will have everything uh, what I want in a tool. Yes, I assume it will have everything what NFT nerds have, 
right? And for free, it just 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 be early on, mint mint this thing for free, and yeah, you you're good to go. And pro tip, <laughs> um, if you're very bullish on this, like me, for example. Um, maybe to try and uh, make different treatments with different wallets, different IP addresses, right? I mean, it's it's not criminal, right? Um, why not? Uh, and then, so you can sell it then for good prices later on secondary market. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will do this <laughs> because why not? Um, yeah, and if we keep analyzing this, like, right, so um, the thing is, they have also advisors. Aseroth is an advisor that checks in. John Storm is an advisor. Uh, Gronk Wizard is an advisor. And let's check this, guys. So, advisor number number one, look, uh, 71 followers, 70,000 followers, blockchain Gavin. Uh, yeah, all this stuff. And you see values follow them, right? Maybe other big guys. Same thing with this advisor. So you see 32 followers, right? Who's following him? So that's how you check, okay, what's the team behind this, uh, guys? So that's why it's make also sense to follow all the, the big guys, right? Uh, and then you see if they follow somebody. Um, and this is very, important right and here this is another advisor and hey here's also satoshi runners follow them uh, net and also follows them big time follow them ryan crypto follows them the door box seat right and if you have a kosher plug follow him very big guy everyone know the kosher plug right and if you see okay this is an advisor for this project and he has three of them and a lot of people follow them then we have blockchain gavin um yeah free mint for an nft2 no-brainer so uh thanks a lot again for for this guy who called it and it's our alpha channel uh one of the alpha chats where i am um, yeah, need, just need to be honest. I don't find this my, myself. This this was really from Alpha Channel, but it's not hurt hurting you if if you know about this project. Really, really awesome thing. I would uh, 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 Twitter account. Yes, to Twitter account. Uh, let me post this. Mm -hmm. So this is a Twitter account from Argentina. So enjoy, guys. Uh, any more questions regarding this? If not, then I will go to the next thing, which I want to talk with you, which I'm very exciting. And <clears throat> this is, you know, so far no questions. Okay, cool. So, so let me <clears throat> check another thing. Um, another thing is uh, Lonely Pops. So this is Lonely Pops. And regarding Lonely Pops, it was a very high project. Um, uh, I won't uh, tell you right now to, uh, to buy this on the secondary. Um, th th I want to use Lonely Pops uh, to talk about you about uh, reveal trading. And I was asking, it was not revealed so far. Wait a second. No, unfortunately not. I just, uh, so Lonely Pop, right. So Lonely Pop is on the floor price 0.22. Uh, for a, a bear market, it's a very good floor price, uh, but I would not say to, to buy it right now. Why? Because uh, it, uh, it, it's not far away from a review. Normally, it must be revealed one hour before. Uh, uh, it has already revealed. Look at this. Uh, it has already it is a review, and this is a perfect timing. So we will discuss right now 
reveal trading. Uh, why it's re why reveal trading is so exciting, uh, and uh, why it makes no sense to, to to buy here. So if you will buy here, right, you see the price movement, boom, it's it's immediately followed out. So what happens is following lonely pop reveals. And by the way, I don't understand why I cannot see the reveals. Because if I see this, uh, ah, I know what happens. So I know um, the price is dropping uh, here on IC tools. You know why? Even if it's not revealed, that's what I see. Even if it's not revealed, because I have asked in the Discord when is the reveal, and they tell me uh, 10 a.m. EST. Even if it's not revealed, maybe they delayed with the reveal. People understand this that after we before we before reveal, price will drop and sell it already here, and price drop. So normally, what happens after reveal, you see what kind of rank your NFT has. And the most ranks are, of course, uh, trash, right? So if you have an NFT, which has 10,000 pieces, and there will be 9,000 pieces, which are above rank 1,000. So all these 9,000 pieces, people will selling them, right? So a lot of people were starting to sell their NFTs, and that's why price drops. How you can take advantage how, how you, you can use it. Uh, the thing is, you can use it to catch uh, an NFT, to catch, ah, it is revealed. Look at this. Wait a second. My PC is slow because of Zoom. It sucks a little bit. So look at this. <clears throat> You can see on this, um, Tyler has shared this website, nft.io, right? You can see it literally have right now revealed. On this side, uh, you can see for free, and uh, this is a nice thing, you can see for free, oh, come on, but let me, let me first, guys, let me first close all this. Oh, I will not close this. It's just a little bit. Um, yeah, it's because of Zoom, my, my browser is now slow a little bit, it sucks. Anyway, so you can see on nft.i, on the left side, uh, uh, the listings, on the right side, the sales. How you can take advantage from this? Look, so for example, right, um, we see here the last sales. Let's, uh, let's take a look on the sales on the right side and understand, okay, what are people buying if, if the rank is very low, if the rank is very good? So we are not interested in 9,000. We are not interested here. You see for 9,000, the last sale was 0.19. We are not interested in this. We go down and we we literally uh, search for a very good rank, which was sold in the reveal phase. 7,000, 8,000, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. Okay, here, look. Rank uh, 327, for example. So you understand rank 327 was sold 10 minutes ago for 0.4 ease. Right, so you, you write this down so you will not forget, for example, on a paper, ranks 347 was sold for point, point 0.4. Of, of course, it makes no sense to, to, to search another nice rank, but let's, let's stay with this right now, okay? 327 for point 0.4 ease. So you understand if you buy one NFT with a rank, let's say for 300, for a price for 0.2 or at least 0.3, you will be able to probably to sell it immediately for good profit. So to, to sell it, to, to put it immediately on the secondary, put in your 0.10, 0.15 ease on it and sell it for profit. And 
that's what you want to do regarding real trading. So you go back to OpenSea, right? Uh, you go to listings. No, this is sales. This is listings. And that's why, by the way, the site is so cool. This free site. It's just slow right now. Because normally what I was doing always is to having on the left side the listings and on the right side the sales. And I always check and the switch between them. Okay, uh, what kind of rank was sold, right? And uh, what kind uh, 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 listings are there? So with on the sales, you check what kind of ranks are sales. On the listings, you want basically snipe. And you, you, you don't want snipe it like this. You don't want to go to items like this and, and, and try to snipe it here. Why? Because OpenSea delay a lot. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of delaying. So if somebody puts an NFT on listings, it will uh, arrives on uh, on the common item site in five minutes, you, you, and it will be already sold. So that's why you want to go active to activity, right? You want to go to listings, and remember, for ten, 10 minutes ago, uh, an NFT with a rank three hundred forty seven was sold for 0. 0.4, and then you look at the price, and you can literally see every second prices arise and the only thing what you interested in is rank right is is the rank <clears throat> and as soon you see a rank let's say 300 and you see on 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 trade sniper and you see um, a price which is um, let's say about 0.2 because somebody paper sell it panic sell it and don't understand that he can sell it for much higher then you buy it, but you need to be quick. And that's why I like to use a whale together, together with Trade Sniper. Trade Sniper, uh, the ap application Trade Sniper is for free, but you want to use Trade Sniper to check the ranks. You don't want to check the ranks. This is the ranks from Trade Sniper. Uh, sorry, this is on the left side are the ranks from whale together. On the right side are the ranks from Trade Sniper. I don't want... Uh, uh, analyze the ranks from where together because uh, trade sniper is uh, the thing which is free and everybody using this and you you want if you uh, buy an nft with a 200 rank you want that all the other people which are your potential buyers see this also as a 200 rank and the ranks are different sometimes you see for example uh, for example well, right now, I don't find example. Right now, they're all the same, but you have a lot um, the, the problems that the ranks are different. So that's why. And as soon you see an NFT, for example, this is rank 287, and it's a price of 0.18. So this would be a good idea to buy this. So if I click on quick buy, right, I can immediately buy this. But I will not buy this right now. And it go immediately to MetaMask, and I can can immediately buy it without the thing. But I'm pretty sure, just a test. I'm pretty sure if I will click the, on this one, somebody will buy it. Look, look at this. I'm pretty sure it's already bought after seconds. Oh, it's a scam. <laughs> you have also this kind of stuff. No, it's 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 already bought. Look, look. Um, no, it's it's just strange because you can you can buy it for three E's. You know, it was um, they somebody put it on uh, or with point nineteen, and now you have three E's. So uh, probably somebody buy it and put it uh, on three E's, but I don't see that uh, somebody sailed it here. Yeah, so you have also this kind of strange action. So always we check on. Uh, if you make a quick buy thing or on um, on your MetaMask wallet, if the price is really the price which what you see on OpenSea, this is very important. And that's how you snipe this. And if I would snipe this, for example, 0.19, right? I could immediately put it or with uh, 0.4. Or on secondary and sold it quickly for big profits, and we can see here five uh, rank five seven five 
0.18 could be also interesting. So instead of let's check if somebody bought this immediately. And you see, again, 1.2. So probably somebody bought this. So these are all guys. Let me check. Um, uh, the thing is, I don't know why I don't see here uh, that somebody bought this for this price. So there's so, two things. Uh, first, uh, the first thing, it's maybe a scam and uh, where people, it's a different, um, it's a, it's a sense called sensor scam where people put in a, an NFT for sale for a slow price, then they cancel them, and then they put a bigger price, and then they're hoping that you click on this, click buy, and instead of paying 0.15 ETH, you pay 1.2 Ethereum. That's uh, why you, you, you need to be very careful. That's the first option. The second option, somebody bought this really uh, very quick for 0.19, and, um, and open C or broken C is just too slow uh, to show you this. So always we check your stuff, but that's how you can uh, basically um, reveal trade. Another thing regarding reveal trades, uh, I would recommend you to buy uh, this NFT, Wizard Pass official. Uh, why? Because then you can join the Discord and what they have, they have a reveal calendar. So you have different NFTs and they check when this kind of NFTs will have a reveal, right? And then you can be on uh, at this time and try to snipe, uh, right, um, the NFTs. Uh, so far, any questions regarding regarding this? Okay, no questions so far. Good. Um, Okay, guys, and another thing, um, what I think to do, I just want your opinion. I think to do um, in future, maybe um, to, to, um, to start AMAs, where we uh, will try to, to trade together. So for example, um, if I see a nice NFT and um, I know at this point it will be revealed, right where we will start an AMA at this time and try to make this together so I will basically trade them with you and we will talk about this also record this that's what I, I plan to do and I would like to um, yeah to um, to hear your suggestions what you think about this that's the first thing <clears throat> and um, the second thing um, if you um, want um what i also think if um some of you guys really really uh, are serious about this and you want also to trade nfts and make money with this and uh, and uh, research them and etc etc be really active um for really active people who want to do this i may be uh, called um create specific channels so where every person have his own channel, right? And he can use this channel to make uh, a different reports. Uh, that means, so let's say um, you are on the AMAs, you're learning, you try to trade or trade to, with me together on the AMA. Uh, and let's say you, you have a, a make a very nice trade. You, you make good money on a reveal trading or on a whitelist trading. Uh, then you will have the option, you know, to go to your specific channel and make a report where you say, okay, guys, look what I done. Uh, this is my win. This was my SOG process, etc., etc. Why this will be so cool? First of all, other people can check uh, different channels from different guys and see what they do, what kind of mistakes they make, etc., etc. Right, and learn from them. And the second thing. You need to understand if you will write down your own thought process, if you will write down, okay, this is what I done good. This is how, why I think I make profits. This was my mistakes, etc. Then you will learn even more, even better. And you, you will train your brain in the right direction. Um, so these are the two things what I plan, what I want to integrate in our Discord channel. So first of all, 
uh, AMAs where we uh, will get together live uh, on a trade. So where we see, okay, this project is right now uh, minting and we will try to make a floor trade uh, uh, and make some profits. Or that project is um, right now to get reviewed and we will try together to make a reveal trade, right? So where I uh, screen share this all stuff and then yeah, we will just hang out together. You know, it will be also a little bit more, uh, more fun hanging out, talk with uh, another, uh, because we need trading is basically also, you know, you, you monitor the price, you, you are on, this is how reveal trading goes, basically. Uh, look, if we go to, um, you know, this is how reveal trading looks. You are on listings, you're sitting here and you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait uh, until um, um, what this is said here. Uh, yeah, and you just wait for and, and waiting and waiting and waiting uh, for, for a nice rank for a nice rank. I don't know why trade sniper says it's on ranked anyway. You wait for a nice rank and try to snipe it, right? And by the way, there, there was a question regarding uh, where together if they have a private note. Answer, yes, they have a private note. So you are able to snipe fast, right? And we can do this together in future. Um, and if you like the idea, let me know. Um, would be really cool. Um, yeah, and I think that was it. I will also, uh, I hope I have recorded this properly. I really hope um, I will post the YouTube video uh, regarding this recording and I will split also YouTube, the YouTube video in different uh, sections where I talk from different projects. So I will have more YouTube content. Uh, guys, if you like this content, please um, support me also on YouTube. Will be really cool because the better successful the YouTube will be, the the more um, the, um, the better I can use this YouTube to promote our project, and the better for us all. So this will be really cool, and every new guy here who, who joined this AMA will get the OG role. And in future, I will also integrate, um, you know, specific AMAs where just OGs can join, where we really, really talk together as an DAO about the project, and it will be just every think about what can we do to create the hype what can we do to create the value what can we do to make sure to minting out so we will all be successful with this project what can we do uh, right to uh, to to go forward with this project and succeed together so it will be all about this so um, yeah, very exciting uh, for all this stuff and thanks, thanks a lot uh, to you all uh, for joining. I see um, yeah, some guys joining and I, I'm always very happy uh, if, if people uh, join the AMAs uh, and appreciate this. It motivates me to keep going and I will keep doing my stuff and make uh, the best possible I can do to give you guys as much value as possible. Um, yeah, any questions so far? If not, um, then I will, um, yeah, stop the AMA and say bye bye. So last, uh, last, uh, last chance to 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 ask some things. Any questions? Okay. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, bless you. You just joined right now, a uh, little bit late. But I will record this anyway. So thanks a lot, uh, guys, for joining. I wish you a uh, wait, champ is stump typing. Maybe question. As usual, great. I love the stuff, man. Thanks a lot, ch a lot, champ. Uh, a lot, champ. I really, really appreciate this kind of feedback. Really, really appreciate this. Makes me happy. Wish you all the best, guys. Uh, next AMA will be on Friday with Tyler. A world dancer. Um, yeah. Thank you for your time. Thanks a lot, world dancer. 
Thanks, Mark. Yeah, watch the recording. I think it's cool. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. It was fun with you. And yeah, uh, see you next time. I will announce uh, the next AMA in a few hours with Tyler. And yeah, uh, I think big things will come in. So take care and bye-bye. I'm out. <laughs>